let's look at this question. The question is write in exponent form with positive indices. Okay. So which color? The blue color is good. Okay. Now this question is cube root of cube root of x to the power 5 minus square root of uh, x cube. Now you should know this general rule. Say nth root of x is x to the power 1 over n. This is the general formula or the general rule. Now what does this mean? This means if you got say fourth root of 15 means it is 15 raised to 1 fourth. Okay. Or suppose it is sixth root of uh, say x squared means x squared to the power 1 6. That is what it means. So if it is x cube, cube root of x to the power 5 is nothing but x to the power 5 raised to 1 third. Take away or minus x cube to the power half. Square root means it's a second root. So now you've got a power of power. So what do you do? You multiply the powers. So 5 times 1 third is 5 thirds minus x to the power 3 times half is 3 halves. Okay, so yeah, and uh, you cannot simplify this anymore because it's a minus here. So write in exponent form with a positive indices. So I think this is the this is the final answer. Okay. So I was a bit doubtful about this answer, but I think I'm right. Okay. So this is you can't simplify this any further. So this is the answer. Okay. So one more question. Two uh, x cubed y to the power negative. Two. Now, the general general rule for negative power is x to the power negative n is 1 over x to the power n. This is the general rule. Now, what does this mean? Uh, we can show this, suppose, uh, let me use a brown. Say 2 to the power minus 3 is nothing but 1 over 2 cube which is 1 over 8. 1 over 8 uh, is 0 0.125. Okay, now let, let me show 1 over 8. It's half of a quarter. A quarter is 0 0.25, so 1 8 is 0 0.125. So let me show this on the calculator. So if you go menu, run, 2 raised to minus 3 equal 0 0.125. Okay. And that's how they do. Or you can go 1 divided by 2 raised to 3 is the same thing. Or 1 divided by 8 is also the same thing. So basically what happens is, if you have a negative index, okay, uh, negative uh, index, you make it positive by taking it from the numerator to the denominator. That means here, this is sitting in the numerator. Okay, now suppose if the question was like this, 1 over 3 to the power 3 raised to minus 4 means that is same as 3 to the power 4 over 1. And 3 to the power 4 is 81. So let me show you that. 1 divided by 3 raised to negative 4 is 81. That's how. So if you have a negative power or negative index in the denominator, sitting in the denominator, it goes, it goes to the numerator and becomes positive. And if it is sitting in the numerator, it comes to the denominator and gets negative, a positive, sorry. So yeah, this is sitting in the numerator. The whole thing is sitting in the numerator. So this, this negative power, it has to, if it has to become positive, the whole thing has to go down. So this will become 1 over 2x cube y to the power 2. So this is nothing but 1 over 2x, or let me use a rule here, 
So this is applying the rule. You have power of power. So here 2 has a power of 1, x has a power of 3, and y has a power of 1. So when you got a power of power, you multiply. So this is nothing but 1 times 2 is 2. So 2 to the power 2, x to the power 6, y squared. And the final answer is 1 over 4 x to the power 6 y squared and this is your final answer so let me box it out okay so this is your answer see you in the next video i want you to do these two questions yourself and i've got two questions sitting here i want you to do these two questions i'll show you these questions one is 3 log 6 minus log 4 and this is the second question I log 5 plus 2 log 7. I'll do solve these two questions in the next video.